Iran is warning President Trump against breaking the West nuclear deal with Iran. Today, the Islamic Republic decided it would be a good idea to show off a new weapon that could inflame the Middle East in a major war. Correspondent John Huddy reports from our Middle East newsroom. It's called the Koramshar missile, named after the Iranian city known as the City of Blood during the Iran-Iraq War. The weapon can carry multiple warheads and has a range of about 1,250 miles, enough to strike Israel. It was paraded today in Tehran, a show of force by Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, along with a direct message to President Trump. We will boost our defensive and military power to the extent deemed necessary for deterrence. We will not seek permission from anyone to defend our country and our land. A defiant tone after the United Nations General Assembly this week, where President Trump accused Iran of building dangerous missiles and using oil profits to support Hezbollah and other terrorists, a speech President Rouhani described as ignorant, absurd, and hateful. Rouhani also warned President Trump about walking away from the 2015 nuclear deal. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said Thursday that Iran is complying with the agreement, though he added the U.S. has significant issues with it. President Trump called the deal an embarrassment during his U.N. speech Tuesday, an assessment shared by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who, in his own U.N. address, warned about Iran's conquest across the Middle East and using ballistic missiles to threaten the entire world. Iran spreads this curtain of tyranny and terror over Iraq. Syria, Lebanon, and elsewhere, and it pledges to extinguish the light of Israel. I have a simple message for Ayatollah Khamenei. The light of Israel will never be extinguished. And Israeli leaders, including Prime Minister Netanyahu, have warned about Iran's increasing influence and foothold in Syria and also Iran's support of Hezbollah, both in Syria and Lebanon. Well, there have been reports that Israel launched an airstrike and bombed a Hezbollah weapons depot, this time on the outskirts of the Damascus airport early Friday morning. The IDF, Israel's military, would not comment on that. But if true, it would certainly not be the first time. Brett. John Huddy, live in our Middle East newsroom. John, thanks.